Our family is like no other. Really? Let me start by your great, 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 great grandmother, Bukaka. Bukaka? Comedy, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we call comedy. All right? The term comedy doesn't mean funny anymore. It means stupid shit. Anyway, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, King James. Okay. This is your boy. All right. The same, you know, the same intro or the same concept. Everything is the exact same to me. You know, don't, don't watch me watch some of those, okay, please? Anyway, so I want to talk about this person. Her name is Lele Pons or Lily Pons or whatever. How the fuck you want to pronounce it? Okay. It's like the Tana Mongoloid thing, okay? You don't really care how you pronounce your name as long as people get the idea that you're talking about her, okay? So, who is she? She is a ex-Viner and ex-Instagram comedian who switched to YouTube. Who switched to YouTube and now she has 5 million subs for doing shitty comedy that I wouldn't even classify as comedy, and neither would a lot of people, okay? But she has 5 million subs because 12-year-olds do think it's funny, and she's hot, so... You know what? She gets it. She gets the, uh, she gets the, uh, the 5 million subs, the tons of money, the everything, while actual people who put actual time and actual effort into their videos get jack shit, all right? Welcome to the world we live in, all right? Now, she's in this same group as, like, King Batch, that group, all right? Where everything about all their videos are either very sexualized or very centered around some kind of social issue, all right? But Lily Pons has a little bit of more of a different style. Hers aren't really necessarily around, you know, just the guy cheating on her or like all the time anyway she's made videos where it's about the guy cheated on her right but with people people like king batch and them that's like all their videos all right well with lele she does a good job at making a nod about that lele's are instead just about just stupid shit all right just random boring shit and the reason i say boring is because even though they make an attempt at putting a joke in there the joke falls flat on its face and doesn't work you 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 can put as many sound effects all right and have all the writers for the video that you want but that doesn't mean it's going to be funny okay that just means it's going to be stupid if they're not very good writers and don't actually understand comedy so we're going to check out some of these videos you know we're going to do some reactions uh, Blasphemous HD style, Jinx style. We're gonna do some reactions to some Lele Pons videos. Why? Because Lele Pons deserves our reaction and our views. So, let's hop right into it with this first video, which you'll recognize because it was the same video I used in my intro, and it is pure gold our family is like no other really let me start by your great 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 grandmother bukaka bukaka this is what we call comedy and she even calls it comedy because the category she put the video under is comedy so even she thinks that this is comedy when it's all about saying the word great several times to make it seem great when in reality it just sounds retarded i don't know how this is called comedy but it is it's 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 known as comedy all right, someone's gonna laugh at it. Some a twelve-year-old, a ten-year-old, someone's gonna laugh at it. Why? Because they're retarded. That's why. It, there, there's no other way of putting it that it's just they're just stupid. All right, that's that's how. Okay. 
Now we're gonna check out another video. Hola, soy Dora. Dora. And this is mi amiga's boots. boots. I lost my puppy, <gasps> mi perro. Oh no, can you help me find him? Oh no, we're lost. Oh my God, what do we do? The map, the map. This one has a uh, an interesting concept to it. Quite the interesting idea. So here's something I'll say. A live action Dora or a live action Ratchet Dora is an interesting idea that's not done very well. It's an interesting idea that's just executed poorly. That's just executed really bad because neither Lele or Lily or whoever or whatever or the other girl can act for shit. All right. Which I guess is how it works. You can't act, but that's why it's funny. Because you can't act and because it's awkward. But when I watch something that's trying to be comedic, where people are trying to act, I'd like them to be able to actually act. You know, kind of, maybe. Am I asking too much for that? Maybe. Oh no, we can't go arriba or down. So? I don't know. Say it. Say it. We have a surprise for you. Surprise! Ah, he's he's a <laughs> Here's something funny I find about this video. This kid is this kid is the star, right? This kid is he's actually a star because even though no, he can't act, but it's clear he's you know like six years old, right? Something like that you know, and was left by his parents without any form of babysitter or any form of parental or any form of guardian supervision, nothing. Right? He was just left on his own. But he's by far the funniest thing about this video. The way he says things, his movements, you know, the things he does are funny. Yeah, they are, to me anyway. To me anyway, these are typically pretty funny. So yeah, the thing about this kid is he's funny. He's the only funny thing about the video. Without him in this video, the video would fucking suck. So, we're gonna move on to another video. Okay, who started the food fight? <laughs> Shut up! This video is called, Who Did It? Once again, put in the comedy category. Because it's comedy. Where the premise, as you, as you heard, is... A food fight broke out and everybody's bitching at each other and everybody's getting mad at each other and everybody's trying to figure out who did it but in reality it doesn't fucking matter because it's just terribly acted and terribly well done. Where did you go? Put, put the Game Boy down. Come on. Uh, Principal Calvin, um, I, I would like to make a request. Uh, all the other food that you guys have is covered in germs. Okay, stop. What do you guys do for fun? We like to do our projects and our homework. So... We, uh, we have our tokens, our token people. We have the token nerd, the token germ freak, the token gamer, all right? We have them all. We got it all here. Now, for whatever reason, this guy's just sitting there trying to, I guess, figure out what happened, who started the flat, or who started the food fight. That's about all I can get. It's not very well done, not very well acted, so who cares? Shyamalan! Shyamalan! Hey! Hey! Shyamalan! My dude! You got some competition right here, okay? Cause that... was a plot twist. It was the greatest plot twist ever. Shyam, I'm sorry my dude. You're out of work, okay? You're out of work. We're gonna hire Lele Pons, alright? And her team of writers, because they know how to do an amazing plot twist okay Shyamalan just needs to get the fuck out okay because Lele Pons is the only one that knows how to do plot twists right that's it just <laughs> god damn it she's so unfunny but has so many goddamn views and so many goddamn subscribers something I find funny 
is she has on the who did it video she has 6k dislikes and i know that's not that much in comparison to 153,000 likes all right but i mean 6,000 likes like if you look at a lot of big channels uh that are 5 million plus that aren't jake paul or logan paul you typically won't find 6K dislikes on their videos just because the majority of people who watch them are their fans who are going to like it anyway. I don't know. I just I just find that funny. I'm going to end this video. I think I'm done talking about Lele Pons. All right, or Lele Pons. I don't care. Whatever. However you want to say her name. Okay. Someone tell Shyamalan he's kicked off. We, we're bringing in Lele. So thank you for watching. This has been your boy King James. Okay. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, all that stuff all right and i will see you next time with more comedy more comedy videos i'll see you next time with some funny shit uh this has been your boy king james and i'm out Still